Over the course of this academic year, I've been working with the fantastic teaching staff at Marlborough Boys School in central London. And part of the work that we've been doing over the years is unpicking some of the ideas in my research, Mark Plan Teach. And in this video, you're going to see the teacher discuss what they did next as a result of the teacher training sessions. So we're unpicking here how they've translated the idea and adapted it to suit their own classroom context and their own subject specialism. And this is what great teaching requires all teachers to do, to translate lots of ideas and apply it to suit their own wisdom. Take a look and see what they have to say. Hello. Okay, this is gonna be very quick. So I've been using the yellow box in psychology. I think it's really useful, particularly in key stage five when you've got, I can really hear myself, um, when you've got exam classes where the exam questions are loads of different marks. So you have like smaller marks and then you have longer exam style questions. I find it mostly useful for the kind of shorter exam style questions that you might get students to write in class quite a lot, but you don't really have the time to give loads and loads of feedback to because you're doing them, you know, like as a plenary at the end of almost every lesson. So it's a good way every now and then to give a nice bit of feedback, but not necessarily spending a load of labor on it. So the way that I do it, I know there's a few ways that you could do this, but for example, this question is eight marks and they need to be essentially describing or outlining a study and then evaluating it. And they should be aiming for about two evaluation points. So as you can see, well, without you having to read through it all, if you have a look, Look through this you can see that in that first paragraph she's kind of followed the AO1 and she's put in all of the outline for the study which is lovely however you get to this point when she starts doing her evaluation and she's trying to describe the study as not being generalizable but then she moves on to her evidence and her evidence is quite clearly about something else she's focusing on the replicability and the reliability of the study here, which isn't quite what we're looking for in terms of evidence for that particular for that particular paragraph that she started to write. So what I would do here is the first part's great, but I would put a yellow box around the rest so that she's aware that that's what I'm picking up on. Sorry, I feel like you can't see what I'm doing, and then. I would put a little comment here where I expect her to rewrite and I would say something like not then I would draw the box out again and maybe as like a do now or as like the first task next lesson, I would get them to kind of redraft just that one point rather than kind of spending all my time marking this, which is actually really great. And I'd obviously give some nice feedback on it as well. Then I just get them to start with this and it saves them rewriting the whole lot. Just one key thing that they've not quite nailed the first time around. Quite rightly, lots of like random calls. Can I give you top marks for actually modeling the process live? Fantastic. Um, I might bend your arm. 